Are you thinking about using a teleprompter or perhaps you already have one and you're just not sure how to get the most out of it? Is your video creation process more productive with or without a teleprompter? In this video, I cover the options of going scripted and unscripted, as well as tips on how to succeed with your teleprompter setup. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Let's dive in. Now let's talk about the teleprompter. This is a very interesting subject because there's a lot of debate on this, whether you should use one or you shouldn't. And I think it's something, you know, that needs consideration based on the individual, as well as the kind of material that you're going to deliver. And it's again, different strokes for different folks. So first from a practical standpoint, if I'm having to deliver something that's got a lot of detail and technical aspects or facts that I can't afford to miss, well, then to work scripted and have the ability to just read it through a teleprompter is a godsend because to sit there and memorize things or to and and to flub doing an, a natural take with that information would be much harder to pull off and much more time consuming. But again, in this case, you're going to sacrifice um, all the work you have to do to script to the extra work to script it out to come out to be you know perfect the way you want to deliver so for some material it may be very important to do but a lot of other material you know that you want to deliver may not require all of that detail and you can still get a great effective message across like right now i'm talking unscripted and you know for me that's being out of my comfort zone and for a long time i would not do this but now i'm getting more comfortable to try it but the dividends can be huge because I want to produce more content on YouTube and I want to help video creators succeed and get faster at their production. And in order to do that, you know, the sooner you can get the ability to do this unscripted and not have to depend on, you know, a perfect script that you wrote that took hours and hours and hours you're going to be better off because your volume of content is going to go up. You're going to be more natural in your conversational style. This is going to appeal to people at, at, at a larger level, help you grow your subscribers, grow your channel. So, I'm, I mean, I, I do believe it. it's it's the way to go. But at the same time, I need to be sure I'm not repetitive, boring, you know, uh, and all the rest that can go with that if I'm struggling. But you have can do multiple takes. And if you do multiple takes, then you can just cut them when you're in, in editing and just, you know, get to the, the point with the, with the best version that you did. So editing is your friend there when you're using a bullet style method where you're just working with that bulleted outline and you present to the camera. So, you know, again, there's two different schools of thought on, on how to use it. And I don't want to overlook the fact that for many people, and I was one of them, at first I didn't even want to get in front of a camera unless I had a teleprompter because I just wasn't comfortable in my skin to sit there and just speak off the top of my head. And, you know, that takes a degree of confidence and being able to put, you know, that little doubter that can surface in your mind aside. So, you know, it can be a godsend for many people that want to get in front of camera in front of the camera and they're not ready to do things that are unscripted. So it's very interesting to decide whether it's the right thing for you or not, and whether it's something you're going to use sometimes and not other times. But you know, again, as you're going to discover, as you go further and deeper into the process mm -hmm. of becoming a YouTuber, you're going to want to find every efficiency that you can. And I believe if you can get to the stage of being unscripted and it's applicable, that you're going to win more because you're going to be able to produce more content and be more natural in your delivery. Another very important tip in using the teleprompter is to be able to come off as if you're not reading so that your eyes aren't going back and forth and it's 
too visible and noticeable and distracting to people because they're, they're seeing someone moving their head. You know, there are a few different variables to consider in that. And I'm going to just lay out a few of them so that when you do your own setup, you can consider these variables. First off, when you're using a teleprompter like I'm using, which is the Caddy Buddy teleprompter, you have the ability to use something like a smartphone or a tablet to use as your source for what you're going to read. And it's a voice activated uh, or a voice directed teleprompter. So I don't need to worry about the pace being too fast or too slow. It just listens to my flow and goes with it. So that's one, you know, excellent benefit. But if the teleprompter, which is integrated together with the camera on the tripod is too far away I'm not going to be able to read the the projection of the the image of the text and that's going to be, make it impossible for me to use the teleprompter. So actually the physical size meaning whether you're using a small smartphone or an iPad mini tablet like I'm using or a bigger bigger iPad all of that will impact how big the text is that you're going to see projected off the beam splitter glass. So for me, because I have an iPad mini, I can't be more than, you know, three feet or so away, three, four feet away from the teleprompter, which means my camera with the lens mounted all has to be integrated at that same distance. So I had to make sure that the lens I was using would work at that distance to frame me properly, as well as for me be able to see the teleprompter. You know, ideally, the farther back the teleprompter is, there's a greater distance, so it's harder for people to see you move more subtly. And at that greater distance, your eyes don't have to move that much to see the text. As compared to typically when it's in closer, you know, you may have to move your, your, your head more. But for me, ironically, it didn't work out to be a problem because I can see almost the whole width of the text in my peripheral vision. So... I'm able to, you know, read it pretty easily without much eye movement at all. And I'm able to act more naturally when I read. And so, you know, it just worked out for me. I think you need to play with the distances, what device you're going to use to, to uh, put your teleprompter app on, whether it's a smartphone or a tablet or a PC or something externally. You need to play with those distances and those variables to be sure that you can juggle the whole scene. And uh, the other thing is if you are watching off a small iPhone um, being projected, you know, it'll need to be closer. But because it's so small, there's not a lot of distance to be moving your head in order to read with the, that text that you're going to have um, projected to you. So, you know, you got to play with it, balance it and find what works for you so that you don't look like you're reading and your head's moving, you know, side to side, and that becomes something that you practice. And in speaking of practice, the more you're able to just read your script beforehand and know the intonation, the emphasis, the tone, and how you want to deliver it, even though you're reading it, the easier it's going to be for you to deliver a great performance. So there's a rehearsal involved as well even though you're going to be reading your script. So you need to put it all together. But all told, I think it's well worth it for where you need to use the teleprompter and it's going to serve you well. And um, go for it if it's right for you. Wow! Using a teleprompter can be a godsend to getting your message out there. But it can also become a crutch. And over time, you'll figure out the right balance of its use for your delivery style and needs. If you want more cool tips for video creating and you wish to create better videos from home, click on the link for my free ebook. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button on this page so that you can get more videos like this in the future. And thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.